Occasionally at these conferences, we do get an opportunity to recognize an individual or individuals who have contributed considerably to hyperbaric medicine to help it evolve over time. Today, we are fortunate to have a gentleman who is giving us that opportunity to recognize him. Who could this be? A few little sound bites on the screen before I introduce this person. What well, is one of the early pioneers in the field of hyperbaric medicine. He learned his trade in hyperbarics under the tutorship of the late Dr. Richard Neubauer, so that's where the inspiration came from. In the early 90s, he moved over to the Baltic area of the world where he was helping to treat children, um, and he was very much focused on neurological activity there. He returned to the United Kingdom. He was a consultant. Um, he was helping benefit the whole hyperbaric message in the UK. He has treated many in sporting individuals, very much as Mal has been doing, and also teams, elite teams across Europe. And I believe reading his bio, he has treated members of the royal family. I assume that's the British royal family, but maybe other European royal members as well, no doubt. He is a fellow of several associations that you can see there. And even today, he remains particularly active in Chelsea, London at a hyperbaric center. We haven't seen him here before, but Mal was in London recently. Mal is one of the new board members and introduced this conference to this gentleman. And he jumped at the opportunity to get on a plane yesterday and come over here and join us. And we felt it was fitting to recognize this individual and give him our appreciation with a lifetime achievement award that he has done in his contribution to hyperbaric medicine. It gives me great pleasure to welcome to the stage Dr. Robert Pender. Robert, please join us. President of the IHMF, Dr. Ted Fogarty, will make a presentation to Robert. Robert, this is a, in honor of your lifetime's work. Um, on behalf of all of us on this planet who are air-breathing aerobic organisms, <laughs> who have benefited from your work as a, as a gift to all of us in humanity. And uh, as many of us all know here, this is a struggle. Yes. And some of us younger bucks are standing on the shoulders of giants like yourself. So thank you very much. Thank you very much for this amazing award. I didn't do it for that. When you see sick people that in our country, the National Health Service are giving up on, and you see mothers with small children in tears, then it hits here. That's why I do it. Thank you so much. 